Hi everyone, Julian here from AutoPH and I'm substituting for your baby boy Iverson. So today, we'll be taking a first look at the all-new Nissan Kicks e-Power. So for the 2023 Kicks, we have three variants, the entry-level EL. That one is priced at 1,209,000 Philippine Pesos. Then we have the VE which is priced at 1.309 and then this VL which is the top spec at 1,509,000. So let's talk about the exterior first. So the Kicks as you can see has a very bold front fascia, it's very sleek. All the lines work very well. Then of course we have the signature V motion grille which is actually really big and then the new Nissan logo right in the center which also acts as the radar for our forward collision warning and emergency braking. And actually all variants have the full LED headlights with also LED turn signals and then since this is the VL we have LED fog lights so again as I said it really looks good and I really really like it so here at the side you can see that we have a very nice set of 17 inch alloy wheels these are wrapped in 205 55 Dunlop tires so since this is the VL we have the two-tone color scheme so black roof then for this unit we have the white body and then we have also the blacked outside mirrors that your 360 cam is over there and then the e-power badge in the front door so you should really be proud because you have e-power and also other than the black roof we also have the floating roof design thanks to this blacked out plastic piece right here and then moving towards the back we have these really nice tail lights they look like the x-trails in my opinion and that's a good thing because the x-trail has really good looking tail lights and they also have this like arrow shape when they're turned on so that looks really eye-catching especially at night and they're also full LED by the way then we also have this reflector piece reflector bar uh, sadly it's not lit up but at least it makes the car look really good so now we're inside the kicks and I must say that this looks very familiar because it, it actually looks a lot like the one the interior of the Almera but that's not a bad thing because that means we have really good quality right here so first we have soft touch leather right here and some hard touch plastics but they feel really good so they don't feel cheap at all and you also have more leather right here of course leather seats zero gravity seats by the way which feel really good and of course a nicely leather wrapped steering wheel and nissan does a really good steering wheel so this is the same one we see in the navara the almera as well and the terra of course we have our cruise controls audio controls and it's also built-in telescopic so that's really good for a better driving position then for the horn it's just a uh, usual for Japanese cars yeah and then for the instrument cluster it's also similar to the Almera so we have a 7 inch display on the left and an analog gauge on the right so for the digital display it shows us our eco meter then we have the energy flow you also have other info so I'll be reading them out here because Dico Facila memory. So we have the audio, the average fuel consumption, and then we have other information for the trip computer, the warnings, and the vehicle settings. So yeah, so this is actually really easy to use. And then moving on for the infotainment system, we have a really nice 8-inch touchscreen Nissan Connect system. So as usual with other Nissan vehicles, it's very easy to use. It's very responsive and of course has a volume knob, tuning knob and lots of buttons which make it a lot easier to use than some others. Then it also shows us our 360 cam which is always really helpful in every Nissan. Then moving down, we have the single zone automatic climate control and as usual we appreciate having our very own display right here, our knobs of course and buttons. Then down here we have a USB-C port, USB-A, 12 volt power outlet and storage so we can put our phone there and it fits really well. Then we have our electronic parking brake with auto hold, our drive mode selector, EV mode toggle, our push start button and our electronic gear shifter which is actually really nice so for park we just press P, pull it for drive and so on. And then here we have a center armrest with a little storage inside so it's quite small but at least it'll fit something like the key or some other items like your wallet and then i won't show you the rear now because there's really nothing there except 
two USB ports, but at least we have those. So now we're driving the Kix E Power, and with us right now is Pablo Salapantan of Yuga Tech and Yuga Auto. So he's my car mate, roommate, and very good friend. And yesterday we drove 17 hours all the way from Manila to Bicol, and that was, that's enough to tell us how much we love this car. So first, let's talk about the engine. So, of course, the e, the Kix E Power is powered by a 1.2 liter gasoline engine, but that doesn't it's not connected to the wheel. So that's actually connected to a battery, which it charges, and that battery or electric motor is what powers this vehicle, talaga. So it really works like an EV, like as if you don't even have a gas engine. No, it only turns on when you charge the car. So when it comes to performance, it's actually really, really good. So we have 136 horsepower and a really good 280 Newton meters of torque. And that's paired to a single speed automatic transmission. Take note, it's not yun CVT, so it's different from a normal CVT. And I must say that it uh, works really well. So right now we're going up an uphill road and you won't feel any lack of power, lack of torque. It gives you everything that you need. Especially, let's say, during our long road trip, lots of overtakes. So, during those times, you can really feel confident. So, that's actually what we really like to talk about it, how it gives us confidence while driving. So, when accelerating, it's actually very linear. It doesn't feel like that though. So, it, you can hear the droney sound, parang, parang sa mga CVT. Pero, you can feel na it's very linear. You can feel that it keeps giving more power. The more you need, the more it gives and it feels really good and you can really feel how much it pulls. And then when it comes to steering and handling, it's, that's another really good thing about this car. So it's really fun to toss in the corners. It really, it's really planted. So we really enjoyed taking it around the many twisties and on straight highways, it, it's very stable. It, it doesn't feel like it's gonna, you know, there's that feeling sometimes that you don't feel confident when going higher speeds, but in this car, it's always there. And then when it comes to ride quality, it's actually also pretty good. That's expected naman from some crossover like this. But this one also feels a lot better. So it's just like the handling, it's also very stable when it comes to ride. So let's say there are sudden deep bumps or anything. You don't feel like you're gonna crash over them or anything. And then when it comes to mga noises, ganon, it's really quiet. So first, the road noise is hardly noticeable. We expected to hear that because we have a very quiet ride, uh, sorry, quiet engine, but there's really none of that. Same as wind noise. There is some engine noise only when you're doing hard accelerations. And the good thing about that is that the engine here sounds really good. So I'll try to let you hear that if you can hear it with our mic. So now let's listen to the engine. If I hope you can hear it. And it doesn't sound like it's a three cylinder at all. So it sounds like a V6 engine actually, to be honest. And that's one more reason why we really love this car. And then of course, for what's important with this car, so fuel economy, and that's another thing it excels in really well. So we actually computed our fuel economy. So that's 25 kilometers per liter, or actually more, so like 25.68, something like that, for a 558 kilometer drive. And I must say that's really, really, really good. So, and I'm sure we can even do better on our way home back to Manila because we won't be joining a convoy that we have to catch up to or anything, especially since we are the last car in line then. So that's it for a quick first look at the all new Nissan Kicks e-Power. Hopefully soon we can give you a more detailed in-depth review because this is just our first impressions and uh, some of the things that we like. But for now, I can really say with confidence that we really love this car and this could be one of the best cars I've ever driven ever or at least yung mga na-review namin for AutoPH.